Isaac Newton wiki quote, the free collection of quotations and famous quotes. Isaac Newton, what we know is a drop of water, que ignoramos it is the ocean. See also biography in Wikipedia. Multimedia in Wikimedia Commons. This page contains quotes from a person at Falacita 289 years ago. This beautiful system composed of the sun. Planets and comets could not help but have been created by the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. The Diasuprimo is an absolutely perfect, infinite, eternal being. Isaac Newton, January 4, 1643, March 31, 1727. Scientist, physicist, philosopher, alchemist and mathematician English, author of Philosophia e Naturalis Principia Mathematica better known as the Principia, where he described the law of universal gravitation and laid the foundations of classical mechanics by laws that bear his name. It was also one of the men most respected English society in his time and perhaps the most religious scientist who has been mentioned, a habit that many are unaware. Newton quotes, edit, in the absence of other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of the existence of God. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend. But my best friend is truth, extract quaestiones caedum philosopha c, some philosophical issues, Latin, c, 1664, God is able to create particles of matter of different sizes and shapes and perhaps densities and different forces, and thus may vary the laws of nature, and make worlds of different types in different parts of the universe. I at least do not see nothing contradictory in this. Optics, I find more evidence of authenticity in the Bible than in any profane history, Watson, Richard, An Apology for the Bible, 1806. P.57, this beautiful system composed of the sun, planets and comets could not help but have been created by the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. Supreme God is an eternal, infinite, absolutely perfect being, Principia, this is nothing but an insignificant imitation of a much larger system whose laws you know. And I cannot convince you that this simple toy does not have a designer and maker, however, you claim to believe that the great original of which was taken this design has come to exist without design or her maker. Note. Replying to an atheist friend in reference to a mechanical toy made of wood and mimicked the solar system, I've been a little boy playing on the beach. Was now and then a finer pebble or a prettier shell than usual. The ocean of truth lay, unexplored before me, unity is variety. And variety in unity is the supreme law of the universe. Any force exerted on a body is directly proportional to the acceleration experienced. The truth always is on simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. What we know is a drop of water. What we ignore is the ocean. Men build too many walls and not enough bridges. If I have made valuable discoveries has been more patience than any other talent. If I have seen farther. It is because I climbed on the shoulders of giants. Note, in a letter sent to Robert Hooke Newton on February 5, 1675 where the first famously wrote, These words are in turn an appointment of Bernard of Chartres 12 and not the work of Newton himself, though he does use these words, which have been used as an excellent characterization of the collective process of construction of scientific knowledge. Quotes about Newton, edit, the greatest scientific mind that the world has known, Isaac Asimov, the universe and its laws were hidden in darkness, God said, Newton and all was light, Alexander Pope, the heavens declare the glory of Kepler and Newton, August Comte, a genius is someone who discovers that the falling stone and the moon does not fall represent one and the same phenomenon, Ernesto Sabato, no I never saw him practicing any fun or hobby or riding to take the air, or walk or bowling, or other exercise any, he believed that any time that was not devoted to his studies was a lost hour. And he met while rarely leaving his room except to teach at preset times where so few would listen, and even less understood him, often in the absence of listeners spoke, so to speak, for the walls. Description of your servant, source, Cosmos Carl Sagan, chap. The Harmony of the Worlds, pp 68, 69. Publishing Planet.
The most important part of the scientific revolution was the discovery of universal gravitation of Isaac Newton, Bernard Cohen, always worried about their depth investigations. The great Newton showed an absence of memory in the ordinary course of business of life, which has become proverbial. It is said that one day, with a desire to calculate the number of seconds necessary for cooking an egg, he realized, after waiting a minute, he had the egg in his hand and had put his watch, an instrument of great value for mathematical precision, to boil. 1. Camus Flammarion, February 26, 1842, June 3, 1925, French astronomer. There have been only three mathematicians who have marked time, Archimedes, Newton, and Eisenstein. 2. Attributed to Carl Friedrich Gauss, April 30, 1777, February 23, 1855, mathematician, astronomer, physicist, and German. For other great mathematicians and philosophers, Gauss used the epithets Magnus or Clarus or Clarissimus. For Newton, some has only used the prefix 3. Walter William Rouse Ball, August 14, 1850, April 4, 1925, British mathematician. References. Edit. 1. Backup Camille Flammarion, Popular Astronomy, General Description of the Heavens, 1884. Translated by J. Allard Gore, 1907, 93. 2. Backup quoted in Ferdinand Gotthold Max Eisenstein. Today on She.com 3. Backup WWR Ball, History of Mathematics, 3rd ed, 1901, 362. Categories. People deaths more than 80 years ago born on January 4th deaths March 31st scientists physical mathematicals philosophers writers British Isaac Newton Isaac Newton Isaac Newton in 1689. By Godfrey Neller birth the 25th of December the 4th of January 1642 Jewel, 1643 Greg. D. Walls Thorpe Town, Lincolnshire County, England death 2017-27 Greg Marzohul, March 31st, 84 years old, Borough of Kensington, London, England, Residence, England, Field Astronomy, Physics, Theology, Alchemy. Mathematics Alma Mater Trinity College, Cambridge, Isaac Doctoral Supervisor Barrow 1 Benjamin Pullain 2 3 Students Highlights Roger Coates William Whiston Known Laws of Dynamics Binomial Theorem Laws of Kinematics Corpuscular Theory of Light Development of Differential and Integral Calculus Law of Universal Gravitation Companies Royal Society of London Awards Featured Knighted by Queen Anne I. 1705 Religious beliefs Anglicanism Isaac Newton signature notes Gottfried Leibniz argued conflict with Robert Hooke and the paternity of calculus. Corpuscular theory of light with Robert Hooke only and the law of universal gravitation respectively. Edit data in Wikidata Isaac Newton, Wools Thorpe, Lincolnshire. The 25th of December the 4th of January 1642 Jewel, 1643 Greg, Kensington, London. 2017-27 Greg Marzohul, March 31st, was a physicist, philosopher, theologian, inventor, alchemist de Mathematico English. He is the author of Philosophia e Naturalis Principia Mathematica, better known as Los Principia. Describing the law of universal gravitation and established the foundations of Classica Mediante mechanical laws that bear his name. Among his other scientific findings highlight the work on the nature of light and optics, which occur mainly in his work Optics and the Development of Mathematical Calculation. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz Newton shares the credit for the development of differential and integral calculus, which used to formulate its laws of physics. He also contributed in other areas of mathematics, developing El Teorema Binomial and Newton Coates formulas. Among his scientific findings include the discovery that the color spectrum observed when white light passes through a prism is inherent in that light, rather than from the prism as had been postulated by Roger Bacon in the 13th century, his argument on the possibility that the light was composed of particles. Development of a law of thermal convection, which describes the rate of cooling of objects exposed to air, his studies on the speed of sound in air. 
and his proposal of a theory of the origin of stars. He also was a pioneer of fluid mechanics, establishing the law on viscosity. Newton was the first to demonstrate that natural laws that govern motion on Earth and those that govern the movement of the heavenly bodies are the same. It is often rated as the largest scientific omez of all time and his work is the culmination of the scientific revolution. Joseph Louis Lagrange, 1736-1813 Mathematician and physicist said that Newton was the greatest genius that has existed and the most fortunate. Since you can only find once a system governing the world, index biography he was born in England on January 4, 1643. Then, the calendar used was the Julian and corresponded to December 25, 1642 day of birth was premature Navidad.4 the apparently end was born so small that no one thought he would live long.5 his life was in danger at least for a week. He was baptized on January 1st, 1643. January 12th on the calendar Gregoriano.6 the house where he was born and lived until his youth is located on the west side of the valley of the river with them below Castevan Plato towards the town of Grantham. It is grey limestone, the same material as on the plateau. It is shaped like a thick letter T in which longer stroke are the kitchen and the hallway. And the room is at the junction of the two trazos.7 its entrance is off center and is located between the lobby and the room and oriented towards the stairs leading to the two bedrooms upstairs. His parents were Isaac Newton and Hannah Askew, two peasants Buritanos.8 He did not know his father because he died in October 1642, when her mother remarried Barnabas Smith. This did not intend to carry a foreign child three years, he left him in charge of his grandmother, with whom he lived until the death of his stepfather in 1653. This was possibly a traumatic event for Isaac, was the loss of the mother, not having known the father. His grandmother never gave her an affectionate memory and until his death went unnoticed. The same happened with the grandfather, who seemed not to exist until it was discovered that he was also present in the house and corresponded to the affection of Newton in the same way. In Dishredo.9 he wrote a list of your sins and included one in particular, threatening my father and my mother Smith to burn them into their home. He did nine years after the death of the stepfather, which proves that the scene was etched in the memory of Newton. Action stepfather, who refused to take him to live with him until he was 10 years could motivate the Sodia.101 Barnabas Smith died. His mother returned to the family home accompanied by two children of this marriage, his half-brothers, but family union lasted less than two years. Isaac was sent to study at school the King's School, Grantham, at the age of 12. What is known at this stage is that he studied Latin, Greek and some basics of geometry and arithmetic. It was the usual curriculum of an elementary school at the time. His teacher was Mr. Stokes, who had a good reputation as educator.11 in 1659 he bought a notebook paperback called at the time whose first page wrote in Latin, Martage 19, 1659, March 19, 1659. It represented the period between 1659 and 1660, which coincided with the period of his return to his hometown. And most of his writings are dedicated to Utilisum Improcidiae Supplementum. Years later, in Kane's collection of King's College is an edition of Pindar with Newton's signature and dated 1659. In the Babson collection a copy of Ovid's Metamorphoses appears dated that same year. Point one two primary studies were useful for Newton, work on mathematics were written in Latin. Like the writings on natural philosophy, and later allowed him to come into contact with European scientists. The basic arithmetic would hardly offset poor level of Latin.13 at that time another important matter was the study of the Bible and read in classical languages supporting the classical curriculum and expanding the Protestant faith in England. In the case of Isaac, the study of this issue together with the library he inherited from his stepfather, 
he could have done to start a trip to the Theologia.14 during his stay in Grantham. He stayed at the home of Mr. Clark in the high street next to the George Inn. He had to share the home with three other children, Edward, Arthur and Girl, children of the first husband of the woman Mr. Clark. In the childhood I had, Isaac seemed to get along with other people their age. Growing up in an atmosphere of isolation with her grandparents and possible envy that caused him to pierce his intellectual superiority caused him difficulties and led him to make several pranks that after he denied having done point one five one of his friends. William Stukely Is he dedicated to gathering information on Newton during his stay in Grantham and concluded that the children were too clever and thought that preyed on them because of their mental speed? Much higher than that of them.15 Besides these anecdotes they showed that Newton apparently preferred the company of women to her friend Catherine Storer, several years younger than him. Dollhouse furniture built using tools skillfully. Also in the field assumptions could have a romance between two young when they were older. According to known records it may have been the first and possibly the only and ultimate romantic experience with a woman in his life. Later the Miss Storer married a man named Vincent and remembered Newton as a young silent and pensativa.16 he had an incident with a partner who was possibly Arthur Storer. This kicked him in the stomach, allegedly in retaliation for a practical joke of Newton. This could never forget this fact, at this time he had been unable to assert his intellectual power. Because of the poor school our training because I was alone and scared again, he was relegated to the last bank. According to the story of Conduit, as soon as class ended, Newton challenged him to a fight the other child in the yard of the church to strike back. The teacher's son approached them and prodded the fight patting her back to one and winked to the other. Although Newton was not as strong as his rival he had greater decision and hit the other until he surrendered and declared that he would fight more. The teacher's son Isaac asked to try him as a coward and scoured her nose against the wall. Isaac grabbed his ears and slammed his face against one of the sides of the Iglesia.17 in addition to win the fight. Newton did his best to defeat him academically and became the first student of the school, and it was recording his name in all banks occupied. A windowsill stone is still preserved with its nombre.18 in the stories of Stukely and Newton's genius. He was recognized and people remembered his strange inventions and their great capacity for mechanical work. He filled his room tools acquired with the money his mother gave him. He made wooden objects, furniture and especially dolls models. He also managed to play a windmill built at that time north of Grantham. The model replicated by Newton improved the original and it worked when placed on the roof. His model was equipped with a water wheel driven by a mouse that spurred. Newton called the mouse mole and arrow.19 other constructions of Newton were a chariot wheel driven by a crank triggering it from within. Another was a crumpled paper lantern to get to school on dark winter days and also used it tied to the tail of a kite to scare the neighbors at night. To perform these inventions should neglect their schoolwork, which she'd better back in the stalls. And when this happened again study and recovering the positions Perdita's point two oh many of the devices that made them out of the book The Mysteries of Nature and Art, the John Bait, which noted in another notebook Grantham, acquired for the price of 2.5 pence in 1659. There he took notes of that book on drawing technique catching birds and manufacture of inks different colors. Among other topics, the windmill is also included in this Libro.21 studying the properties of comets, it calculated the ideal proportions and the most appropriate points to adjust the strings. In addition flashlights gave them their classmates and I commented his studies with the apparent purpose of earning their friendship, but it did not. With these procedures proved their superiority and made them feel further away from him. The day of the death of Cromwell his first experiment took place. 
that day, a storm broke over England, and jumping first downwind and then against. With comparing their jumps with a day of calm measured the force of the storm, he told the children that the storm was stronger than anyone who had known and taught them the marks measuring their footsteps. In addition, according to this version, he used the wind to win a jumping contest and the superiority of their knowledge did so spec so point two one sundials were another pastime in this city. In the church of Colster were there is one that built nine years. Sundials were more management tools to individual challenge. He filled watches Clark's house, her room, other rooms of the house. Lobby and enter any other room where the sun on the walls nail points to indicate the hours, average, and even the rooms. And they tied ropes with wheels for measuring the shadows in the days Sagiantis.21 at 18, he entered the University of Cambridge to continue his studies. Newton never attended regularly their classes since their main interest was the library. He graduated from Trinity College as a mediocre student due to its mainly self-taught reading some of the most important books of mathematics and natural philosophy of the time. In 1663 Newton read the Mathematic A. Clavis of William Otterd, Geometry de Descartes, the Astronomia Pars Optica Kepler, the Mathematica Opera of Vietti, edited by Franz Van Schuden and in 1664, the Arithmetic of John Wallace which would serve as an introduction to their research on infinite series, the binomial theorem and certain and quadratures.22 .2 in 1663 he met Isaac Barrow, who taught him, having been designated the first Lucasian professor of mathematics. At the same time he came into contact with the work of Galileo, Fermat, Huygens and others from probably 1659 edition of Geometry of Descartes by Van Schuden. Newton surpassed quickly to Barrow, who frequently sought his help in math problems. Replica of a telescope built by Newton. At this time the geometry and optics already had an essential role in the life of Newton. It was at this time that his fame began to grow. As it began a correspondence with the Royal Society, Newton sent them some of his discoveries and a telescope which aroused great interest among the members of the society but also criticism from some, mainly Robert Hooke. This was the beginning of one of the many disputes he had in his scientific career. It is considered that Newton showed aggressiveness before their opponents, who were mainly, but not solely, Hooke, Leibniz and in the religious, the Catholic Church. As president of the Royal Society, he was described as a cruel, vindictive dictator and troublemakers. However, it was a letter from Hooke, in which he commented its intuitive about gravity ideas, which made fully started their studies mechanical and gravity. Newton solved the problem with which Hooke had failed and wrote results in what many scientists believe is the most important book in the history of science. Philosophia e Naturalis Principia Mathematica in 1693 he suffered a mental crisis, causing long periods in which it remained isolated, during which not eat or sleep. At this time he suffered bouts of depression and paranoia. He corresponded with his friend, the philosopher John Locke, in which besides telling his evil state, accused him repeatedly of things he never did. Some historians believe that the crisis was caused by the breakup of his relationship with his pupil Nicholas Fatio de Dullier. However, following the publication in 1979 of a study that showed a concentration of mercury, highly neurotoxic, 15 times higher than normal in the hair of Newton, most Americans believe that at this time Newton suffered in vain anomia and mercury to make his alchemical experiments which would explain his illness and changes in their conduct. The point two three after writing Los Principia left Cambridge and moved to London, where he held different positions, prestige public being named Provost of King, Magistrate of Charter House and Director of the Mint, among his deepest interests alchemy and religion. Issues in which his writings go far beyond volume to his scientific writings were 
Among his religious opinions he defended Arianism and was convinced that the scriptures had been violated to support the Trinitarian doctrine. This caused serious problems for the part of Trinity College in Cambridge and the religious ideas could be prevented managed college. Among his alchemical studies esoteric subjects like the transmutation of the elements, the philosopher's stone and the elixir of life were first contribution since late 1664 he worked intensely in different mathematical problems. He then addressed the binomial theorem from the works of John Wallace and developed its own calculation method called fluxions. Shortly after he returned to the family farm because of an epidemic of bubonic plague. He retired with his family during the years 1665 and 1666 met a very intense period of discovery among which the inverse square law of gravitation development of the foundations of classical mechanics, the formalization of the method of fluxions and the generalization of the binomial theorem also shown putting the physical nature of colors. However, be silent for a long time about his findings to the fear of criticism and stealing their ideas. In 1667 he resumed his studies at the University of Cambridge. Calculation development from 1667 to 1669 he undertook research on optics and was elected a fellow of Trinity College. In 1669, his mentor, Isaac Barrow, resigned his Lucasian chair of mathematics, a position that Newton would happen until 1696. The same year sent to John Collins, through Barrow, his analysis per equationes terminorum infinite number. For Newton, this manuscript represents the introduction of powerful general method which would develop later his differential and integral calculus. Newton had discovered the principles of his differential and integral calculus to 1665 to 1666 and during the following decade elaborated at least three different approaches to the new analysis. Newton and Leibniz staged a bitter controversy over the authorship of the development of this branch of mathematics. Historians of science consider that both developed calculus independently. Although the notation of Leibniz was better and the formulation of Newton is best applied to practical problems, the controversy further divided the British and continental mathematicians. However, this separation was not as deep as Newton and Leibniz to stop sharing results. Newton approached the development of calculus from analytic geometry developed a geometric and analytical approach applied mathematics derived on curves defined through equations. Newton also looked for how to square different curves and the relationship between the square and the theory of tangents. After studies of Roberville, Newton realized that the method of tangents could be used to obtain the instantaneous speeds of a path known. In his first investigations Newton grapples only geometric problems, like finding tangents, curvatures and areas using mathematical basis as analytic geometry of Descartes. However, in an effort to separate his theory of Descartes, he began working only with equations and variables without resorting to the Cartesian system. After 1666 Newton abandoned his mathematical works and became increasingly interested in the study of nature and the creation of cis principia. Work on light optics between 1670 and 1672 he worked extensively on issues related to optics and the nature of light. Newton showed that white light was formed by a band of colors red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, bluey, violet that could be separated by a prism. As a result of these studies it concluded that refractor qualquier telescopio suffer a type currently known as chromatic aberration, which is the scattering of light in different colors through a lens aberration. To avoid this problem invented on telescopio reflector known as a Newtonian telescope. His experiments on the nature of light led him to formulate his general theory of it, which according to him is formed by corpuscles and propagates in a straight line and not through waves. 
The book that exposed this theory was severely criticized by most of his contemporaries, including Hook, 1635-1703, and Huygens, who held different ideas defending a way of nature. These criticisms provoked suspicion by their publications, so he retired to the solitude of his study in Cambridge. In 1704, Newton wrote his most important work on optics, optics. In setting out its previous theories and the corpuscular nature of light as well as a detailed study of phenomena such as refraction, reflection and dispersion of light. Although his ideas about the corpuscular nature of light were soon discredited in favor of the wave theory. Today's scientists have concluded, thanks to the work of Max Planck and Albert Einstein, that light has a dual nature, it is wave and corpuscle at the same time. This is the basis on which all rests quantum mechanics. Law of Universal Gravitation Newton's Principia Bernard Cohen says that the culminating moment of scientific revolution was the discovery by Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation, with a simple law. Newton gave to understand the most important physical phenomena of the observable universe, explaining the three laws of Kepler. The law of universal gravitation discovered by Newton is written. Where F is the force, G is a constant that determines the strength of the force that would be measured years later by Henry Cavendish in his famous experiment of the torsion balance. M1 and M2 are the masses of two bodies attract each ESR is the distance between the two bodies. Being the unit vector indicating the direction of movement, although there is some controversy about that Cavendish had actually measured G as some scholars claim that simply measured the Earth's mass. The law of universal gravitation was born in 1685 as the culmination of a series of studies and work started long before. The first written reference we have of the idea of universal attraction is 1666 in the book Micrographia. Robert Hooke.24 In 1679 Robert Hooke introduced to Newton in the problem of analyzing a curved path. When Hooke became secretary of the Royal Society he wanted to establish a philosophical correspondence with Newton. In his first letter he raised two issues that would interest deeply Newton. Until then scientists and philosophers like Descartes Huygens analyzed the curvilinear movement with centrifugal force. Hook, however, proposed to compose the celestial movements of planets from a rectilinear movement throughout tangent and an attractive movement towards the central body, suggests that the centripetal force toward the solve area inversely as the square of the distance. Newton replied that he had never heard of this hypothesis. In another letter of Hook, he writes, it remains now to know the properties of a curved line, taking him at all distances in inverse proportion quadratic. In other words, Hook wished to know what the curve resulting from an object that prints a reverse force to the square of the distance. Hook finishes that letter by saying, I do not doubt that you, with your excellent method, easily find what must be this curve. In 1684 Newton told his friend Edmund Halley that it had resolved the problem of force inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Newton wrote up these calculations in the treatise De Motu and widely developed in the book Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, last year see also.